This is uh, significant. How significant, though, is this electorally? Yeah, it's significant in terms of, you know, what it means and the way it moves the court. But electorally, it's not so clear. Um, it's a, been a very uh, partisan vote on the confirmation, uh, really along party lines. Just one Republican senator, um, Susan Collins, who's in a tough race in Maine, didn't vote to confirm, and all the Democrats voted against. So it's unclear that it's really going to have much effect um Maybe at the margins, but most um, most you know Democrats are voting Democrat and Republicans are voting Republican and Independents. I'm not sure this is going to change that view, given you know we've had more than 60 million people already cast their votes in early voting. Also, Jerry, just uh, just over a week to go until that election. Now, what can we expect from both candidates in terms of campaigning? And who else will be campaigning on their behalf? And really, it comes at a time when some of the key battleground uh, uh, states are far too close to call. That's right. Um, we're seeing these battleground states, you know, these numbers um, very, very close. Um, President Trump has a slight lead in Texas, for instance, um, and we're seeing uh, Joe Biden kind of close the gap in some of those other states, um, including Pennsylvania. But right now, um, they're having very different styles of campaigning. Uh, President Trump is out there having rallies. Um, you know, he's having as many as several a day um, and a very, very, uh, you know, intense rally schedule. He's really blitzing those battleground states. Joe Biden uh, didn't have any campaign events on, on Friday or Sunday. He had no public schedule um, during the first three days of last week as he prepared for the debate. But he's now going to be out there more. But his campaign says that they really um, have a different style. They're worried about the virus, and they want to transmit that message um, of caution to voters. Uh, Jody, elaborate that for us. How is the virus and the renewed outbreak in the U.S. figuring into nominees' campaign styles and approaches? Yeah, well, uh, Joe Biden's uh, allies say um, that um, this is different than uh, in 2016 when Hillary Clinton, um, you know, was a much less intense campaigner than Donald Trump. They say the difference is that with the coronavirus, it makes him look smarter. Um, you know, Trump's rallies uh, could be spreading the virus, and this, they believe, bolsters uh, Joe Biden's argument that he is taking the pandemic seriously, while Trump, who was hospitalized early this month, of course, for COVID-19, has downplayed it. Uh, so they're trying to make that their case, where uh, uh, President Trump is saying Joe Biden is hiding uh, and, and hasn't, by not having so many uh, events as President Trump has.